Good evening. This is CTV News for Tuesday, June 13th. I'm Patricia Vallone. And I'm Denise Douglas. Glad you could join us this evening. Attorney General Jeff Sessions testifies before the Senate Intelligence Committee this afternoon as it continues its probe of alleged Russian interference into the 2016 elections. The AG was grilled about his recusal in the Russian probe, the firing of former FBI Chief James Comey, and any alleged contacts between the Trump administration and the Russians. Sessions himself has been accused of having a secret meeting with the Russian ambassador at a D.C. hotel. Here's some of what the attorney general had to say. Let me state this clearly, colleagues. I have never met with or had any conversation with any Russians or any foreign officials concerning any type of interference with any campaign or election in the United States. Further, I have no knowledge of any such conversations by anyone connected to the Trump campaign. And the suggestion that I participated in any collusion that I was aware of any collusion with the Russian government to hurt this country, which I have served with honor for 35 years, or to undermine the integrity of our democratic process is an appalling and detestable lie. Meantime, earlier today in his testimony before the Senate Intelligence Committee, Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein was asked whether he would fire special counsel Robert Mueller if ordered to do so by the president. Rosenstein said he would refuse the order unless there was good cause. Flooding impacts Maryland communities everywhere from Ellicott City to the eastern shore. Those were the words of U.S. Senator Chris Van Hollen this afternoon during a press conference to announce bipartisan legislation to reform the National Flood Insurance Program. Senator Kennedy and all the others also help provide clarity uh, to the uh, flood insurance market. This is probably one of the most confusing areas, if not the most confusing area, of insurance. A lot of people don't realize that it's not part of their uh, regular coverage. And then a lot of people who thought they had it uh, and bought it, when it comes time to need it and use it, uh, they're told, sorry, uh, we're not covering. Uh, the result of, of that lack of clarity is driving potential market participants out of the market. Uh, and the legislation would extend the National Flood Insurance Program for six years while instituting a series of reforms aimed at addressing waste, abuse, and mismanagement of the system. Well, appointments are made to the new Maryland Financial Consumer Protection Commission. Senate President Mike Miller and House Speaker Michael Bush chose members to assess the impact of changes in federal financial laws. Appointees include Senators Jim Rosepep and Joanne Benson, Delegates Bill Frick and Susan Amon, and Karen Pope on Wukwe as a member of the public. Other representatives with banking and financial backgrounds will also be part of the commission. Governor Hogan has two additional appointments to the group. The commission will report back to the legislature at the end of each calendar year with findings and recommendations. The Prince George's County Council takes up a bill that would create exemptions to the smoking ban. If enacted, the legislation would allow smoking in specific eating and drinking establishments, such as tobacco and cigar bars, as well as lounges. Today, the council held a public hearing on the measure, but no action was taken. For tens of thousands of Prince George's students, school is out. Today was the last day of school for youngsters and their teachers. This was the scene at Ernest Everett Just Middle School as they were being dismissed. How do they feel now that it's all said and done? Hallelujah. That's all I can say, hallelujah. Glad it's over. Glad. He's moving on to much better things now. High school. High school. I feel like I'm... Um, I'm going to have more responsibility going to high school and I have to stay with the right crowd and, and yeah, I have to like, yeah, stay on the right track to go to college and stuff. He's looking forward for eighth grade next year. What are you guys doing this summer? Yeah, th this summer is traveling to Nigeria. Now, school was scheduled to end on June 9th, but due to two emergency closings in March, the school year was lengthened by as many days.